Actress Meryl Streep is a well-known figure in movies, loved for her amazing talent and ability to play many different roles. She's famous for her great performances in lots of different kinds of movies. Many people have special memories of her roles and how she's influenced movies. What's your favorite memory or experience with this great actor? Share your stories below and keep watching for more interesting facts. In the realm of movies, Meryl Streep shines brightly. She's known for her amazing talent and how deeply she's influenced the film world. Born in Summit, New Jersey, Streep started acting with passion and determination. She's famous for diving into different roles, showing how versatile she is. From serious films like Sophie's Choice to fun ones like The Devil Wears Prada, Streep can do it all. What makes Meryl Streep special isn't just her awards or the many characters she's played. It's how she brings stories to life. Streep doesn't just act. She makes us feel emotions and experiences. Her performances connect with people, showing off her skills. In a world where actors come and go, Streep's talent stands strong. She's not just about the roles she's had, but also about setting a high standard. Streep inspires aspiring actors, proving that hard work and being true to yourself matter. As we honor Meryl Streep, we see more than just a talented actor. She's someone who has shaped filmmaking. Her impact isn't limited to one time period, it's timeless. Meryl Streep isn't just an actor, she's an icon, a storyteller, and a trailblazer. In summary, Meryl Streep's importance in movies cannot be overstated. Her work, full of brilliance and authenticity, continues to inspire people worldwide. Meryl Streep is a master at acting, and her influence will last for generations. With an impressive career spanning many years, she's become a symbol in the world of acting. As of 2019, she holds several important records in the movie industry. She's been nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress, a record 17 times, showing her talent and range. Also, she has the most nominations for the Golden Globe Awards in different categories like Best Actress in Drama, in Comedy or Musical, and Best Supporting Actress. She's known for admiring fellow actress Olivia Colman. Colman played her daughter in The Iron Lady and impressed her with a great performance in Tyrannosaur directed by Patty Considine in 2011. On a personal note, she is the sister-in-law of Maeve Kinkeed, which connects her professional and personal life. Throughout her amazing career, she has consistently fascinated audiences with her outstanding performances, leaving a lasting impression on the world of cinema. In the final courtroom scene of Kramer vs. Kramer, the script got a big overhaul. The reason for Joanna's departure was changed. The director worried about delays, but the lead actor had a clear idea. They quickly revised the speech, impressing the director. In The Deer Hunter, the producer had trouble selling the film. They needed a big name like Robert De Niro. De Niro, knowing many actors in New York City, introduced a couple of key people to the director. Their involvement extended to scouting locations and bonding with the cast during rehearsals. In Death Becomes Her, the lead actor took on a unique role. In a TV interview, they explained that the character was too original to pass up. Meryl Streep, the renowned actress known for her talent on screen, has a personal life filled with both triumphs and challenges. Despite her successful career, she has faced difficulties in her personal life. Her relationships and marriage have been crucial parts of her journey. Throughout her life, she has been married to sculptor Don Gummer, with whom she shares a strong bond. Their marriage has provided stability and support for her, especially during tough times in her career. Gummer has been a pillar of strength, standing by her side through everything. Despite her Hollywood success, she has struggled to balance her demanding career with her family life. Like many working mothers, she has had to juggle her professional commitments with her responsibilities at home. Streep's dedication to both her career and her family has been clear, showing her resilience and determination. In addition to her personal struggles, she has also experienced moments of victory and joy in her relationships. She shares a close bond with her children, who have inspired and motivated her. Her family has played a crucial role in her life, offering love and support as she deals with fame and success. Despite the challenges she has faced, Streep remains resilient and determined, committed to her craft and her loved ones. Her personal life, marked by both struggles and successes, shows her strength and resilience as a woman and as an artist. In Silkwood, she portrayed Karen Silkwood. During filming, her friendship with Cher lightened the mood on set. Nora Ephron, the film's director, mentioned that their camaraderie helped Cher feel at ease. They entertained each other with jokes and funny voices. It was a serious film, but they found moments of laughter. In One True Thing, she played Kate Golden. The cast included three other Oscar winners, Renee Zellweger and William Hurt. 
It was a remarkable assembly of talent. Her daughter, Grace Gummer, acted as Nora Ephron in Good Girls Revolt. Streep appeared in three films written by Ephron Silkwood, Hartburn, and Julie and Julia. Streep's portrayal of Karen Silkwood in Silkwood is a standout moment in her career. The movie brought together a talented cast, including three Oscar winners Mike Nichols, her, and Cher, along with three Oscar nominees Diana Scarwood, Tess Harper, and David Stratine. It showcased her ability to fully dive into roles and deliver strong performances. After finishing her master's degree in fine arts from Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, she started a journey that made her one of the most respected actors in the industry. Her education gave her a solid base, helping her refine her skills and get ready for the challenges ahead. As a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, she's recognized by her peers for her work in movies. Her dedication to her craft and her readiness to take on various roles have established her as a leading figure in cinema. In the movie Kramer vs. Kramer from 1979, Meryl Streep took control by rewriting her courtroom scene to make her character more interesting. As Joanna Kramer, she stood out, going against the usual expectations. On set, she shared funny moments with co-stars Dustin Hoffman and Justin Henry, who played her son. Hoffman's jokes about picking between them led to playful teasing. Despite the fun, her dedication was clear. Before appearing on screens, she learned acting skills at Bernard's High School in New Jersey, graduating in 1967. There, she laid the foundation for her successful career. Her journey from high school plays to Hollywood shows her commitment to acting and love for storytelling. From her early days in drama club to grabbing attention in one of the most famous films of her time, her talent was clear. Her role as Joanna Kramer not only showed her acting skills, but also solidified her position as a respected Hollywood actor. Her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her roles connected with audiences worldwide, earning her many awards and praise. Every scene she was in had a magnetic energy, holding viewers' interest and leaving a lasting impression. Indeed, Meryl Streep's influence on movies is unmatched and her impact will be remembered for years. With each new role, she continues to break boundaries and redefine what it means to be a true artist. Her name is now linked with excellence in the industry and her work will be remembered for a long time. This brief look into her journey is proof of the incredible talent and unwavering dedication she brings to every project. Through her work, she has secured her place in film history, making a lasting impression on audiences everywhere. Truly, Meryl Streep is a strong example of passion and persistence in pursuing dreams. Renowned for her work in movies, she was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama in 2014. In the film Silkwood, she played Karen Silkwood, marking the start of a partnership with Nora Ephron. This collaboration led to two more movies, Heartburn and Julie and Julia, with Ephron directing the latter. Although initially considered for the main role in She Devil, she chose to play Mary Fisher instead because it was similar to her previous roles. Her acting versatility and depth have shaped her varied career in the film industry. With each character she portrayed, she brought something new to the screen, captivating audiences worldwide. Her ability to become her characters convincingly has made her one of the most respected figures in Hollywood. Meryl Streep's impact goes beyond awards. It reflects her unmatched talent and lasting influence on movies. She's synonymous with outstanding acting, inspiring generations of performers. Through her career, she has not just entertained, but also shed light on important social issues. From her early successes to her memorable performances, her journey continues to inspire aspiring artists everywhere. In the movie Silkwood, one scene stood out as particularly challenging for her. It's the moment when Karen, her character, unexpectedly exposes her breasts to her colleagues while at work. She found it uncomfortable, admitting it's something she's sensitive about women appearing nude on screen. However, she believed it made sense in the context of the story. Still, she described it as bizarre and unpleasant, especially in front of the crew. In Julia, she starred alongside a remarkable cast that included five Oscar winners Jane Fonda, Vanessa Redgrave, Jason Robards, Maximilian Schell, and her. Additionally, there was one Oscar nominee among them, Hal Holbrook. Her performance in Into the Woods earned her an Academy Award nomination, making her one of the 27 actresses to receive such recognition for a musical role. This list includes legendary names like Julie Andrews, Barbara Streisand, and Anne Hathaway, among others. Her journey in the world of cinema is marked by remarkable performances and notable achievements, demonstrating her versatility and talent across various roles and genres. In the movie Silkwood, she played the character Karen Silkwood and got nominated for an Oscar. 
She and Cher both got nominations, but in different categories. Later, they both competed for Best Leading Actress and Cher won, thanking her in her speech. She was born at 8.05 a.m., and her career includes different types of roles. In She Devil, she did comedy, which was different from her usual serious roles. Before that, she was in movies that mix comedy and drama like Heartburn and romantic comedies like Manhattan. She is good at playing different kinds of characters, impressing audiences in various genres. The way she acts in intense dramas or brings humor to funny roles shows her talent and dedication to acting. She is one of the best actors of her time because she can move between serious and funny roles so easily. Her work in movies will be remembered for a long time, and she has made a big impact on the world of entertainment. This is the sign of a true legend in the entertainment world, leaving a lasting impression on audiences for generations. After completing her role in Sophie's Choice in 1982, the actor swiftly moved on to filming Silkwood as Karen Silkwood, taking only a short break before diving into the new project. During the making of Death Becomes Her, she, portraying Madeline Ashton, had an unexpected incident. In a scene of physical altercation, she accidentally injured Goldie Hawn's cheek with a shovel, adding an unexpected layer of authenticity to the intense confrontation between their characters. Julia was one of her roles in politically themed films. This movie joined others like Suffragette, The Iron Lady, and The Manchurian Candidate. Her portrayal of Anne-Marie and Julia shows her versatility, extending her skills to various genres and subject matters. In summary, her commitment to her craft is evident in the smooth transitions between projects, showcasing her adaptability and dedication to delivering authentic performances. Whether exploring historical dramas or unintentionally contributing to on-set incidents, her career speaks volumes about her influence on the film industry. In one scene from Death Becomes Her, she, playing Madeline Ashton, had an unforgettable moment. Helen, portrayed by another actor, knocks her head and neck backward, creating a striking effect. She wore a blue screen hood over her head, allowing for digital manipulation in post-production. Later, an animatronic head in her likeness was attached, bringing the scene to life. In Silkwood, she took on the role of Karen Silkwood. Cher, her co-star, admitted feeling nervous about meeting her initially, yet she quickly dispelled Cher's apprehensions with her warmth and humor. Cher fondly recalled how she was welcomed with open arms, instantly putting her at ease. In Kramer vs. Kramer, she portrayed Joanna Kramer. The film boasted a stellar cast, including two Oscar winners Dustin Hoffman and herself, along with three Oscar nominees Jane Alexander, Justin Henry, and Jobeth Williams. Her talent and ability to connect with her co-stars are evident in these anecdotes, showcasing her versatility and professionalism in the world of cinema. Known for her incredible talent, she has made a lasting impression in the world of acting. In 2007, she got a nomination for Best Actress in a play at the Drama Desk Awards for her role in Mother Courage and her children. While filming The Deer Hunter, she showed loyalty and care. Her co-star, John Cazell, was battling lung cancer, and despite being very sick, she supported him. When the studio thought about replacing Cazell because of his illness, she strongly defended him, even saying she'd quit if they did. Sadly, Cazell died before the film came out, so he never saw how their work together affected people. Streep's talent consistently shines, earning her Oscar nominations for every time she's been in a film that won Best Picture. Notably, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in The Deer Hunter, won the same award for Kramer vs. Kramer, and got another nomination for Best Actress in Out of Africa. Her commitment to her work and caring for her colleagues show how she's left a big impact on the film industry. In She Devil, Mary Fisher, portrayed by her, takes the lead role. The star billing places her first, followed by Rose N. Barr, Ed Begley Jr., Sylvia Miles, and Linda Hunt. Mary Fisher, depicted by her, authored two new books, Love in the Rinse Cycle and Trust, and Betrayal, a docu-novel of love, money, and skepticism. Among Academy Award winners, she is one of six actresses who were pregnant at the time of winning. Eva Marie Saint, Patricia Neal, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Rachel Weiss, and Natalie Portman share this distinction. During her Best Actress Oscar win for Sophie's Choice, she was five months pregnant with her daughter, Mamie Gummer. Neal is the only one among them who did not accept her award in person due to pregnancy. In a straightforward interview with American Film, she talked about playing Karen Silkwood in the movie Silkwood. She discussed Silkwood's character, mentioning both her good and bad qualities. The movie, she said, makes people think about their own lives. She felt sorry for Silkwood, thinking about what she could have done if she had more time. After being nominated for Postcards from the Edge, 
She didn't get nominated again until the Bridges of Madison County, which took five years. This shows how awards come and go in her career. Silkwood was the start of her working with Cher. They later did two more movies together. Their last movie, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, was different because it was a musical. Even though she sang in Silkwood, Cher was the main singer in their movies. She campaigned for Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election, lending her voice and influence to support the candidate. Her dedication to political causes often extends beyond mere endorsement, as she actively engages in advocacy and raises awareness on various social issues. Her portrayal of Karen Silkwood in Silkwood is widely acclaimed, earning her a position at number 71 on Premier Magazine's prestigious list of 100 greatest performances of all time. The depth and authenticity she brought to the role solidify her status as one of the finest actors of her generation. Despite receiving an Oscar nomination and winning both Golden Globe and BAFTA awards for her captivating performance in The French Lieutenant's Woman, she maintains that it is her least favorite personal accomplishment among her vast body of work. The narrative structure of the film, she feels, created an artificial barrier to fully embodying her character. As a young American actress tasked with portraying an Englishwoman, she struggled to find the authenticity she strives for in her roles. Meryl Streep is well known for her amazing talent in acting. She's really good at playing different kinds of characters in movies. One of her famous roles was in a movie called Silkwood, where she played Karen Silkwood. People loved her performance in that movie. She was also named as one of the top screen heroes by the American Film Institute. When she was studying acting at Yale Drama School, she was with other great actors like Sigourney Weaver and Christina Stabrook. Being around such talented people helped her become even better at acting. In another movie called Kramer vs. Kramer, she showed how dedicated she was to her work. She wanted to make her character's big moment in the movie even better, so she came up with her own version of a speech for the scene. This shows how much she cares about making her roles believable and real. Meryl Streep is one of the best actors ever because she's so good at what she does, and she's had a big effect on the movie world. Premiere Magazine ranked her as 46 on a list of the greatest movie stars of all time in their stars in our Constellation feature. In Silkwood, she portrayed Karen Silkwood. In that film, she worked alongside Cher and Kurt Russell. Cher described Russell as like a bossy big brother that she adored. Russell, in turn, praised working with her, calling it one of the highlights of my career. In Kramer vs. Kramer, she played Joanna Kramer. Her performance alongside Dustin Hoffman was notable. Hoffman's personal life was tumultuous with a messy divorce while she was grieving the loss of her lover, John Cazzle. Their performances reflected the depth of their emotions. She's known for her dedication and intensity on set, leaving a lasting impression on her co-stars and audiences alike. At 34, she welcomed her second child, a daughter named Mary Willa Gummer, with her husband, Don Gummer. In 1988, she shared a nomination for Best Actress with Cher. When Cher's name was called, she rose from her seat, applauding with evident joy. During Cher's speech, she expressed gratitude to her personally, referring to her as Mary Louise Streep. Their collaboration dates back to Silkwood, where they first worked together. In Kramer vs. Kramer, she portrayed Joanna Kramer, one of her notable roles among three films in 1979, including Manhattan and The Seduction of Joe Tynan. After taking a break to be with her baby Grace, she got back to acting and worked hard on the movie Ironweed. She really got into her character like she always does. One cool role she had was playing Madeline Ashton in Death Becomes Her. There's this scene where they made puppets that look just like her, but later they used computer stuff to make it even cooler. She and her husband, Don Gummer, went to Emily Blunt and John Krasinski's wedding, which was a happy time for everyone in the movie world. People all over the world still love watching her in movies, and she's left a big impression. That's the story of her amazing career. In the TV show Faces of America with Henry Louis Gates Jr., she discovered her connection with director Mike Nichols. She enjoys spending time with her family, including her five grandchildren. Her daughter Mamie Gummer has a son and a daughter born in February 2019 and 2021, respectively. Her son Henry Gummer welcomed another granddaughter and grandson in July 2020 and May 2022, while her daughter Grace Gummer added another granddaughter to the family in 2023. Initially chosen for the role of Iris Hyman in Minority Report, she had to step back, leading to Lois Smith taking the part. In the making of Kramer vs. Kramer, the main actors clashed over changes to the script. The lead actors, he and she, disagreed on the alterations, but despite the tension, he recognized her dedication to the movie's success. 
Moving on to the Deer Hunter, she initially accepted a smaller role, but took the chance to shape her character Linda with a depth that went beyond the written lines. At 41, she had her fourth child, showing how she balanced family and career. This moment showed her strength and determination in managing both personal and professional life. Her ability to overcome obstacles and enhance her roles shows her dedication to achieving greatness in movies. Through her changing approach to characters and her handling of on-set dynamics, she continues to make a lasting impact on the industry. Back at Yale Drama School, she and Sigourney Weaver appeared in a play staged in a swimming pool together. The play was called The Frogs. During breaks in filming for Manhattan, she shot her scenes for Kramer vs. Kramer as Joanna Kramer. Her father was of German and Swiss-German descent, and his patrilineal ancestors had originally been surnamed Streep. For much of her life, she had incorrectly believed that the family was from the Netherlands. Her mother had English, German, Irish, Scots, Irish, Northern Irish, Scottish, and remote French and Swedish ancestry, and was descended from early settlers in Pennsylvania. One of her maternal great-grandmothers, Mary Agnes McFadden, was born in Ireland. In the film Silkwood, Meryl Streep portrayed the character Karen Silkwood. Notably, this is the sole movie in which she can be observed nude. In a particular scene, she playfully exposes herself to a male co-worker, revealing one breast clearly. Another moment occurs in a dimly lit room, where she stands up from bed, momentarily topless in front of a mirror. It's worth noting that in all other instances where her characters appeared nude, a body double was utilized. Moving on to Death Becomes Her, Streep took on the role of Madeline Ashton. The movie's trailer included scenes that didn't make it to the final cut, and one such deleted scene involved Madeline and Helen interacting with Tony. Unfortunately, these moments were excluded from the released version. In terms of accolades, Meryl Streep secured her place in cinematic history as the 82nd actress to receive an Academy Award. She clinched the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in Kramer vs. Kramer at the 52nd Annual Academy Awards on April 14, 1980. These instances highlight various aspects of Streep's career, from her willingness to commit to challenging scenes to the complexities of the filmmaking process. Each film brings forth unique elements, contributing to her diverse repertoire. In The Seduction of Joe Tynan, she played Karen Trainer. It was a challenging time for her, having lost her fiancé earlier that year. She found solace in her work, describing it as being on automatic pilot. She expressed gratitude for working with Alan Alda, whom she found lovely and understanding. In Silkwood, she portrayed Karen Silkwood. Initially nervous about acting alongside Cher, they soon became close friends, a bond that lasted through the years. Interestingly, they both appeared in Stuck on You, playing themselves. In Manhattan, she took on the role of Jill. The Belling placed her fifth, among a cast including Woody Allen, Diane Keaton, and others. Despite her placement, her performance stood out, contributing to the film's success. In Death Becomes Her, she portrayed Madeline Ashton, earning a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy. Despite the nomination, she lost to Miranda Richardson for Enchanted April. In Kramer vs. Kramer, she played Joanna Kramer, both Dustin Hoffman, and she won two Best Leading Acting Academy Awards. He won for Rain Man and this movie, while she won for Sophie's Choice and The Iron Lady. She also secured the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in the same film. During the filming, she was pregnant, adding an extra challenge to her performance. The dedication she showed to her craft, even amidst personal challenges, truly showcased her talent and commitment to her roles. Her versatility as an actress shone through in each character she brought to life on the screen, captivating audiences worldwide. Indeed, her name has become synonymous with excellence in the film industry. In Kramer vs. Kramer, she portrayed Joanna Kramer, a role that showcased her dedication to her craft. In the final scene, her pregnancy was evident, subtly adding depth to the character as she wore a raincoat. Streep's commitment to her characters extended beyond the script. She advocated for changes to Joanna's portrayal. Feeling the character lacked dimension, she worked to ensure Joanna's motivations were clear, believing the audience should hear her perspective directly. Streep's journey as an actress began in New York City, where she studied under Michael Howard, honing her skills before gracing the silver screen. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to infuse depth into her characters have cemented her status as one of the most respected figures in the film industry. Her husband, Don Gummer, is a sculptor known for his detailed works found in public spaces and galleries. In the stage show fame, she is the only actress with a song title named after her. The song, Think of Meryl Streep, captures a tense moment 
with Carmen kissing impulsively and Serena being shocked. Throughout her impressive career, she's brought to life many memorable characters, captivating audiences with her amazing talent and versatility. From her early roles in films like Manhattan and Kramer vs. Kramer to her recent acclaimed performances, she's made a big impact on cinema. In The Seduction of Joe Tynan, she played Karen Trainer, a complex character dealing with power and desire. It's one of many roles showing her ability to play diverse characters authentically. As her career goes on, she's an inspiration for actors worldwide, showing that true artistry has no limits. She's become known for her excellence in entertainment, and her influence will last for generations. During the 1979 Oscars, after winning for Kramer vs. Kramer, she forgot her award in the restroom, which became a quirky part of her career. In 1977, she was recognized as one of the promising new actors in screen world, she faced some challenges in her career, like missing out on roles in King Kong and Alien. Despite these setbacks, she's known as one of the best actors of her time. Her impact on movies is huge. She's Meryl Streep, one of the greats in cinema. One interesting thing about her is that she was nominated for an Oscar for her role in the movie Into the Woods in 2014. This makes her one of only four actors who have been recognized by the Academy for their performances in Walt Disney Pictures movies. Some others on this list are Julie Andrews, Richard Farnsworth, and Johnny Depp. Another impressive achievement is that she has been consistently acknowledged by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. She's one of just four actors who have received acting nominations across five decades, from the 1970s to the 2010s. Others who share this achievement include Lawrence Olivier, Paul Newman, and Katherine Hepburn. Moreover, she received the Kennedy Center Honors in 2011, along with other notable figures like Barbara Cook, Neil Diamond, Yo-Yo Ma, and Sonny Rollins. These accomplishments show her significant influence on the entertainment industry, making her a respected figure in cinema history. She's scared of helicopters, which might surprise you because she acts so bravely in movies. In The Deer Hunter, she played Linda, showing how good she is at acting different roles. Later in Falling in Love, she acted with Robert De Niro and did a great job again. But one of her most famous roles was in Death Becomes Her, where she played Madeline Ashton, who stays young forever. She's really good friends with Tracy Ullman, who was also in some scenes for the same movie, even though they got deleted. It's interesting how they're friends both on and off the screen, which adds another layer to her already amazing career. They work well together on screen, and you can tell they're real friends behind the scenes too. She's not just a talented actress, she's also a fascinating person with lots of interesting things in her life. From her different roles to her friendships in Hollywood, she keeps surprising and inspiring people all over the world. There's definitely more to her than you might think at first glance. Early in her career, she received a letter from Betty Davis, whom most critics and cinema historians rank as the greatest American movie actress ever. Davis told her that she felt she was her successor as the premier American actress. Davis, a double winner who was nominated 10 times for an Academy Award, all of them Best Actress nods, set the record for most acting nominations with her 10th in 1963 for Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Hepburn extended her record with her 12th nomination for On Golden Pond. She, as Sophie Zawistowski in Sophie's Choice, earned her second Oscar. She would have to wait another 29 years before winning her third. As Karen Silkwood in Silkwood, David Stratyan, who shared scenes with her, would play her husband in The River Wild. In the movie Kramer vs. Kramer, she accidentally left her brand new Oscar award on a toilet. She was dating John Cazell while filming The Deer Hunter and Dustin Hoffman helped her get the part. She got her first Oscar for that role, which was her second time being nominated. Robert De Niro noticed her talent while she was acting in The Cherry Orchard at Lincoln Center. She acted alongside Irene Wirth, Raul Julia, and Mary Beth Hurt. After that, her career really took off. She started in theater and then became famous in Hollywood. People admired her because she could play many different roles really well. She won a lot of awards and is thought of as one of the best actors of her time. She inspired a lot of other actors. Using music, often classical, she immerses herself in character. Since her first Oscar nomination, 66 actresses have been one of her four co-nominees in the same category, spanning an age gap of 81 years from Katherine Hepburn to Emma Stone. Among them, 13 actresses were co-nominated twice Kate Blanchett, Deborah Winger, Helen Mirren, Jane Alexander, Jessica Long, Judi Dench, Julian Moore, Kate Winslet, Kathy Bates, Sandra Bullock, Emma Stone, Julian Moore, and Susan Sarandon. 
So far, her greatest rival with three Oscar co-nominations is still Glenn Close. In 2016, she served as president of the official competition jury at the 66th Berlin International Film Festival.